Welcome to episode 961, Richard Sackler and the Opioid Crisis, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 961, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, the Opioid Crisis. That is the Opioid Crisis at its height. Every day, about 130 Americans died of opioid overdose. The principal opioids that has fueled the crisis. The CDC estimates that roughly 450,000 people died from an overdose involving an opioid between 1999 and 2018. That included both prescription opioids and the illegal market. Lesson 2, Richard Sackler and the drug OxyContin. Oxycontin is the painkiller that kills. It was developed by Richard Sackler in 1999. Fact. Lesson 3, Oxycontin is a cash cow for Purdue Farmer. It's a net worth totaling $14 billion. The Sackler family is behind the blockbuster painkiller drug Oxycontin. The Sacklers pushed this highly addictive drug through their pharmaceutical company, Purdue, and raked in $3 billion in profit every year. As in four, the three psychiatrists. We must first look at the Sackler story. The story of the Sacklers starts in 1952 when three psychiatrist brothers, Arthur, Mortimer, and Raymond, purchased a small pharmaceutical company called Purdue. Together, they co-authored over a hundred research papers on the biochemistry of mental illness. Arthur Sackler doubled as an advertising pioneer in pharmaceuticals. Lesson 5, the real addiction rate of OxyContin. OxyContin began in 1995. First, the company focused the drug on the same market as MS Contin, cancer patients. The move was made to win wide regulatory acceptance and the integration of the drug into medical programs fact 50% stronger than morphine. Later, in an unpublished study by Purdue in 1999, the company found that the addiction rate was 13%, not 1%. Lesson 6, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration in the United States. But in 1996, Purdue Pharma released OxyContin. Although this drug contained a much higher concentration of oxycodone than previous painkillers, the FDA approved it because the pill was designed to slowly release the drug over an extended period of time. Unfortunately, users soon found a way to break the slow release feature by crushing the pill and snorting or injecting it to obtain a high. By 2010, OxyContin was the second most abused prescription drug in the nation, causing Purdue Pharma to reformulate OxyContin to make it crush and injection resistant. Lesson 7, the doctors. The family, but the most important link in the whole chain was the doctors. After all, they were the ones who used their discretion on what to prescribe patients. Purdue had speaking events where doctors would be flown in to so-called seminars, which were essentially golfing trips. Thousands of clinicians were paid to speak at conferences on the company's behalf. Prominent doctors on the Purdue payroll played down the effects of opioids, calling them a gift from nature, and stated that the notion that opioids caused addiction was a medical myth. It is now possible to find regions in the country where the amount of prescriptions is more than the actual population of the region. Doctors would be arrested in the hundreds for running clinics which prescribe pills to patients without a legitimate reason. These were often called pill mills. Lesson 8. Lawsuits in the thousands from 49 states. So why wasn't anyone doing anything about this? Well, soon people did. That's a nine, the $8.3 billion settlement. Pharma and its owners, the Sackler family. Now this was reported first late yesterday by NBC. And that settlement amount would be reached in a kind of piecemeal fashion. So Purdue would file for bankruptcy and then restructure into a public benefit trust, which would disperse profits from sales of OxyContin and another drug to municipalities that agree to the settlement. Now the company would also donate $4 billion worth of drugs, including some to treat opioid addiction. And finally, the Sackler family would pay at least $3 billion. Now this isn't a done Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.